So, um, just for the record, you know, um, like I said, the the, the facto this this continues to try to injure you, continues to try to intimidate you, coerce you with threats and uh, innuendos of of, and they have no power. See, I, I'm not into stealing nothing from people. I'm not into uh, taking nothing from nobody. Uh, not intentionally. And if, like I said, as I know better, I do better. Um, and as I'm learning, like I said, I, I made this card that represents me because I have the right uh, to a nationality, right to a name that represents that nationality. So these people who are trying to uh, prevent me from doing uh, uh, claiming my rights, they try to prevent me from doing certain things so I'm gonna get to the other one to the uh, Lakeview Loan Service uh, Mortgage Company which actually is a third party uh, debt collector because they even said that when you call them warning this is the, the debt collector they might have changed it now um, they're all frauds so like I said I'm not in stealing nothing taking nothing but I'm gonna get to that in a minute the first part the ID I mean well they call it the ID card but I, I don't use the term ID I just said, you know, the card that I created through them uh, for, for my uh, nationality rights to, that I can use for my own uh, purposes. So they've been trying to not a lot, because I've been using them for, for forever now. But as I learn more, and they, know, they see I'm learning more now, they don't want to uh, communicate with me or let me allow me to, uh, op, you know, use my, my rights to, to, to claim my nationality and my name. That, but I'm doing this here for the record. For you to, to, to know who I am, I've told you before. Um, like I said, my nationality: Ebri, Yasharite of Yahuda, pertaining to the Aboriginal indigenous people, indigenous people of, of the land, the, the soil, uh, Turtle Island, uh, as they say, North capital N, lowercase r, lowercase, I mean lowercase o, lowercase r, lowercase t, lowercase h. American, uh, North America, lowercase a, lowercase m, lowercase e, lowercase r, lowercase i, lowercase c, lowercase a. The true American, that's who I am. Du jour. I'm not in the jurisdiction. I'm not a 14th Amendment uh, United States de facto corporation citizen. I'm not that. I'm letting you know who I am. I'm the jour. I'm, I'm the real American. And that's not to say that nobody else is not. I'm not speaking for them, nor am I distracting from them. I'm only speaking for myself, so I'm not I'm here to offend anyone. I'm not trying to say what somebody else is not. I'm just saying who I am and who I am not. They can speak for themselves. Okay, so now that company is taking me through the hassles of trying to not let, allow me to do that, but I'm doing it here. So this still counts. This is public, uh, for you know, for the record, for for everybody's interest. They they hearing it from my own mouth who I am. So they can't hold me in their jurisdiction. I'm not in their jurisdiction. Okay, now we'll get to this mortgage thing. I've already told you I discharged this debt. I've allowed them to discharge this debt against the United States American Corporation. Now they're trying to coerce me, injure me, harass me, do all of these things. And like I told them, show me proof that you have a lodeo right to this land. I didn't just come and squat on this land. I didn't come and squat in this, in this house. You deceived me into this, this, this situation. But Abba says what they meant for evil, he meant for my good. So they were being deceptive. And, and basically that whole mortgage is a null and void. From the, uh, the inception because what they did because of my ignorance what they did they defrauded me and they took advantage of me and all of these things because they knew I didn't know any better that's called fraud mortgage fraud and then what they did they already were paid for this transaction and then they sold it to a third party straw man, a straw person of fiction and I'll, I'll show you what it means uh, those who are involved in shady deals 
Put that up. And then what they did, now on top of that, they deceived me into uh, agreeing to uh, give them fiat, which is not money, as a gift for 30 years. That's fraud, injury, lying, all kind of stuff. The fraud, fraud. And now they're trying to say, well, they, they want something to, to report to the IRS. The IRS is also a, a company of fiction under the de facto that I'm not a part of their jurisdiction. So I told them, let me read it for you. See? Okay. Read, read all the information to you. First of all, I'm not their customer. Me and their... Me and their uh, First of all, me and them never really had a relationship. I'm not their customer. It was out of fraud anyway. And once they defrauded me and did all of those bad faith actions, that contract was null and void. And this is my private property because, like I said, I didn't come here and just squat on it in bad faith. I went in into this um, in good faith, and I actually gave them fiat every month like they say and they even went up on it and I was giving it to them so I, I'm, I'm in good faith I didn't just come here and just say I'm gonna take this no I came in here under under uh, the assumption that I was being treated right and I was doing what they told me to do because I didn't know any better but as I researched and found out found out better I found out that they were defrauding me and then this is a and currently the people that said they're a mortgage company they're actually a third party debt collector because the initial people a wholesale wholesale mortgage already done got paid they done moved on and they sold it on they sold it to a third party debt collector and now they're trying to collect and then they threatened me to my well we're gonna we want to send this to the you know, IRS so they can I don't I, look at it okay this is what they said important information 2018 IRS form 1098 we anticipate making your 2018 IRS form 1098 electronically available via our website and we'll also deliver the form 1098 with your December periodic billing statement that's fraud and I'm gonna show you why I do not agree with that I'm, I don't have nothing to do with them I'm not in their jurisdiction of, of fiction so I, my response to that was I choose not to contract with you or the IRS you are both acting under the color of law you are de facto I have already allowed you to discharge and set off all debt associated with your de facto claim. I have notified you previously to show me show me documentation that you have a lodeo right to my private property. You failed to give me full disclosure that you were part of a fraud being a third party debt collection agency that your company acknowledged being. You never gave me full disclosure that you had already been paid and it is part of a uh, fraudulent scheme to injure and defraud me into giving you fiat as a gift being that none of the, and I also already t told them to stop taking the fiat, and they did it. Um, you know, because I'm not giving it to them as a gift, and I don't owe them anything. Meaning that none of the fiat had previously, uh, I previously given to you into your pocket, that you put in your own pockets, so to speak. So I speak, and you deceive to me, so to, so to speak, and you deceive me into taking responsibility into claiming to be your straw man of legal fiction. I am not a straw man of your legal fiction. See Bouvier's Law Dictionary, Volume 2, Revised 6th Edition, 1856. Law, when applied to objects, it is civil, criminal, and penal. Your illegal and unlawful action of fraud and deception created a situation where your mortgage contract was null and void from the beginning. Concerning the IRS, it is a fraudulent organization of distortion with power over the 14th Amendment, Amendment citizens of the U.S. Corporation of the District of Columbia. I overstand your attempt to threaten, coerce, and intimidation practices of bad faith actions. I am honorable. Show me proof you have a load of your rights to my private property. You and wholesale mortgage are fraudulent. Once again, show me proof you have a load of your rights. I am communicating you, communicating to you being a man in my proper capacity. For the record, once again, I do not choose to contract with you or the IRS of legal fiction, and I do not understand your color of authority, nor do I understand your color of law. I was deceived by ignorance of your bad faith actions from the beginning, and you are continuing to use bad faith actions as a threat and coercion now produce the evidence you have a load of your rights 
to my private property that you claimed I was receive, uh, receiving once I ignorantly signed your dead pledge mortgage. Also, really, all of this is really of no, no, uh, it, it really don't matter because their, their bad faith actions of fraud and lack of um, full, full disclosure from the beginning basically made the contract null and void. And also, if a man or a woman is basically not, not understanding or capable of understanding your bad faith actions, that makes it null and void too because you're taking advantage. That's illegal. What is fraud? Fraud consists of some deceitful practices of willful device resorted to with, this is a um, Black's Law Dictionary Second Edition. Fraud consists of some deceitful practices or willful device resorted uh, to with, with uh, intent to deprive another of his right or some manner of to do him an injury as distinguished from negligence. It is always positive internationally. What is a dead pledge? A mortgage? Mortem vatum? What is a mortem vatum? A dead pledge? A mortgage? A pledge where the profits mortis 7995 movable or rents of the thing pledged are not applied to the payment of the debt? See Clearfield's doctrine where it basically says once a, uh, a government files bankruptcy and start to use fiat currency instead of gold and silver coin to be, it falls to the level of a uh, private citizen corporation. So we're not dealing with a, a government, we're just dealing with some, and this is really not even a corporation because it's not in standing anymore. So basically it's just um, deceptive practices of, of distortion and lies and deception and fraud. Section 10, no state shall enter any treaty, alliance, or confederation, grant letter of marquee and reprisal of coin money, emit bills of credit, make anything but gold or silver coin, a tender and payment of debts, pass any bill of attainder except post facto law or law impairing the obligations of contracts or grant any title of nobility. For the record, this is on the record. I do not give the IRS anyone in the de facto practices of de facto United States Corporation bankruptcy since 1933 permission to harass me, coerce me, arrest me, kidnap me, uh, human traffic me because I'm standing in my proper capacity being a real the jour American and I overstand their bad faith practices and I do not give any of them to come onto my private property I do not give any of them any of their agents their uh, personnel acting as law enforcement to come onto my property and harass me and I, I will not answer unto them because I'm not under their jurisdiction nor are their authority Shalom.